While we've known for a while that reality TV is about as real as a $3 bill, it's not easy to prove the fakery of television's most dubious genre. But we dug up as much as we could. Here's proof that reality TV is completely fake. The Discovery Channel's reality show Alaskan Bush People documents the eccentric Brown family and their day-to-day -day lives in the Alaskan wilderness. According to the show's bio, the Browns were, quote, a newly discovered family who was born and raised wild. However, that claim was called into question when some of the family's neighbors accused them of staying somewhere other than their bush cabin. In an interview with Radar Online, neighbors Jay Erickson and Becky Hunnicutt claimed that the family actually stayed at the Icy Strait Lodge in Huna, Alaska. The locals alleged that the isolated bush home was only used used during filming and said the family would travel between the cushy lodge and the wilderness whenever they pleased. I would not live anywhere else! Their true living situation got a little bit more muddled when the Anchorage Daily News reported another alleged scam that landed the Browns in legal trouble for lying about being Alaskan residents. According to the report, the family admitted to residing outside of Alaska for much of the time between 2009 and 2012 and were not entitled to Alaskan residency dividends that they received. Based on the 2010 documentary Catfish, MTV's docu-series Catfish the TV Show has been a smash hit since its premiere. For those unfamiliar, the show follows host Neve Shulman as he attempts to discover the identity behind people who go online and pretend to be someone other than who they are in real life. Max Joseph served as Shulman's co-host until 2018 when he left the reality series to focus on his filming career. Considering much of Catfish involves exposing lies, viewers might be surprised to learn that they are being deceived as well. According to a Vulture interview with MTV executive Marshall Eisen, the people featured in each episode aren't quite as surprised as they seem. They're actually all on board with the process. Eisen said the show isn't out to air someone's dirty laundry without their consent, revealing to Vulture, we can't do that and won't do that. We're not doing an ambush show. Prior to filming, everyone signs a waiver, even the suspected liars. In fact, the alleged bad guys are usually the first to be cast. Eisen revealed, it's often the catfish we hear from first because they're looking to unburden themselves. It's not always the case, but it probably happens more than people realize. Hell's Kitchen fans have long suspected that the show's drama is put on for entertainment purposes. After all, professionally trained chefs wouldn't make that many mistakes without some type of manipulation happening behind the scenes. Surprisingly enough, however, the most unreal thing about this so-called reality show is the restaurant in which it takes place. The posh eatery seemingly fancied by a number of C-list celebrities isn't actually a restaurant, it's just a soundstage. I am done. Get out! According to TV Guide, the Hell's Kitchen soundstage has the whole restaurant vibe down pat, except for one aspect that you'd only catch with an in-person visit to the set. According to the publication, the only real difference is the lighting. It's far brighter than you'd expect in a fine dining restaurant. Since it isn't a real restaurant, the non-celebrity guests you see aren't real customers, but they do have a real connection to the show. Season 6 contestant Kevin Cottle revealed in a Reddit AMA, the customers are friends and family of the production crew. They aren't random people. Dance Moms is a show fraught with drama and confrontations. Whether it's the young girls fighting amongst themselves or the mothers fighting with each other, the show definitely doesn't lack for bickering and blowouts. Despite all the drama, the Dance Moms cast seems surprisingly supportive of one another. Though Maddie Ziegler left the show in 2016, the music video star has remained close with the Dance Moms cast. According to Ziegler, when she's not busy with other projects, she's usually spending time with her former co-stars. The dancer told USA Today, I hang out with my friends, all the girls on the show, they're my best friends. The phrase best friends might seem like an interesting choice of words to describe people who are constantly fighting, but according to Ziegler, the yelling matches seen on Dance Moms aren't a reflection of how the cast interacts with each other off screen. You are a liar! An absolute liar! As Ziegler revealed to USA Today, the producers set it up to make us all yell at each other. The moms have a fake fight sometimes. Afterward, they just start talking and laugh about it. Netflix's reality docuseries Haunted claims to portray first-person accounts of supernatural events and unsolved mysteries through storytelling and reenactments. According to executive producer Brett Patrick Jenkins, both the stories and the people involved are all 100% real. How 
However, while ghost stories can get away with straddling the line between fact and fiction, stories concerning alleged murders cannot. One episode titled Slaughterhouse told the horrifying story of an unknown serial killer who allegedly claimed the lives of multiple victims in upstate New York and was still on the loose. Many fans were confused about the information presented, especially the case's apparent lack of police involvement. Though Jenkins insisted that Haunted's showrunners had reached out to authorities and received no response, the New York State Police told Mashable a different story. Director of Public Information Bo Duffy shut down Jenkins' claim, saying, "...I spoke with our Bureau of Criminal Investigation, and they have not received any information from the producers or Netflix in regards to the alleged crimes that were portrayed on this program." When Mashable asked for an on-the-record response to Duffy's statement, Jenkins declined. Spooky. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite reality shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.